Swan song here, guys. YouTube. Hello. Hello, internet. Not to brag or anything. Amongst our friends, the number one spot is held by yours surely. Wow. They were the best of friends, united by their love for the open road and the thrill of the climb. Shit. Yes. <laughs> Some man. But for these amateur cyclists, a storm was brewing. This is a lifestyle. It's coming off today. One little segment held the key to their fate. I'm not racing today. A challenge of strength, speed, and a testament. That's okay. expensive. I don't want to do that again. Okay. To the unbreakable bonds of friendship. <sighs> Who will go the distance? Who will be crowned king of Montecito? Who will edit this video? Uh, but seriously, could I get some help on this? I mean, my computer's hot to the touch right now. Not good. Three series? <sighs> yeah. If you're not nervous, you're not ready. Hey, this is Swan Song Cycling. I'm Steven. I'm Joe. I'm Primoz Roglic. <laughs> it's Alex. Anyway, guys, we have an exciting video for you. Montecito Climb is one that we've been training on for the last, what, Alex, three or, uh, I guess we only Honestly, know each other like three years. years. Yeah, years. yeah. It's a climb that me and Alex especially have been going back and forth with each other on Strava. Uh, it's a, f what, five minute climb? It's Oof. a very personal climb. We attack each other every single time. <laughs> and I feel like it's a climb too that it's not a 50 minute climb that we have no chance of KOMing. We could get there. And this could be the day, but we'll see. All right, so Montecito Climb, we're running at 1.16 total miles, and the average gradient is 3.9. And as I can say that's pretty accurate. It doesn't, there's switchbacks where it gets steep. It's a pretty small segment. And that's not a small segment. It is! For a climb, that's pretty small. So this hill, it, it's not technically like a climber's hill because it's not that steep. Like, sprinters can do this. AKA Joe. No one's gonna sprint for five minutes out of this. Yes, gonna can. sprint for five minutes. It's gonna hurt, or... but you can do it. Now that we talk through it, let's actually see the climb. What's, What's up? up? This, this is, is Swan versus Swan. Swan. Today we're gonna be racing Montecito, and it's a solar eclipse. Is it a solar eclipse? It's a solar eclipse today. It means the moon is gonna pass through the sun's. Uh... I'm blanking out. No, we're gonna. Hit up Montecito Climb. Either we puke or we PR. That is it. So I got a crew with me. I got Steven with me. I got Kevin. They're over there talking Justin, about Donald Trump. And I got our ace, Joe. All right, we're gonna do a little recon here. We're gonna make sure Joe knows the course. So the gradient here is probably, uh, I think 4% the whole way. The Strava segment's a little weird. Where does it get steep on this? Oh, you want the camera? All right, guys, this is Alex POV. I think I got my swagger back. We're taking it slow. This climb is a little tricky. Steep in the beginning, but as you start hitting the, the tight corners, it's just probably 2%, maybe 3% all the way up, but it doesn't feel like that. It actually feels like a flat segment, but your heart rate's exploding. Total vertical climb, it's 246. That's the, all the elevation you're getting. 246? Yep. Uh, not much. The current, KOM, drum roll please. Three minutes, 40 seconds. The QOM is actually 406. Not to brag or anything, but our club, Swan Song Cycling on Strava, the number one spot is held by yours surely at 430. And I'm literally at 431. Setting the expectations. Steven, I'm gonna say it all here right now. Joe is taking the best numbers today. I'm not gonna say that now. I'll say that when he does it. This man is built to arrow. He'll probably do it in the drops too. Plus he has that new bike day, you know, feel, so. It's a cold weather recently. Which is kind of you, right? So yeah, yeah what's, what's your, what's your excuse? I, excuse, if, ding, yeah. ding, ding. Here's the first excuse before the ride. Okay. Once it starts getting cold, uh -huh. my body shuts down. It does not my work body anymore. Shuts down. I'm asthma prone. I have no meat on me. I'm pure bones. So this is the end of the segment right here. Right where this car is. Hopefully it's still there. Or maybe the sign. Uh, yes, right. 
There. Right there. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> home. So, Joe, how do you feel now that you saw it? It feels pretty good, man. It's, it's nice and steady. Um, nothing too crazy. It's just an extended effort, really. It should be fun. What's your game plan going in? Um, I'm just trying to... I, I, what I really want to happen is I want Justin to motor pace us. <laughs> so, I just want to try to hold on his wheel. The sprint past that humps sign. Treat that humps thing as the finish line. Joe, That's right where it stops. My bad? Brother, you said you're all about watching the games. I only rolled up and toss it. Okay. He loves this shot, I don't know why. All right. And, uh, bolts are coming off. Oh, I don't have an application location yet. <laughs> Marginal gains. And... I don't have location. My wings Sheesh. are coming <clears throat> That's okay. expensive. I don't want to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now that we have a little bit of an idea of the actual climb, uh, we should run through our gear. Technology. I've checked. I'm running a BMC SLR 01 size 47. Yes, very close. 47. I'm running SRAM Forest E Tap. It's a 46, 33 in the front, and 10, 33 in the back. I have pretty light wheels, 33 campy wheels, WTO, and a Victoria size 28 with tube inside. Put it tubes. Latex, I'm running latex <laughs> tubes. Latex for go. life, guys. Because you're too chicken to run. And I run high PSI. I run at, I think it's 72 in front, 80 in the back. That's used to be at 100. I, I, I like to bounce. I have a 2010 Van Dessel. <laughs> no one knows that brand, but it exists it's from New Jersey. Uh, 2010 Van Dessel Rivet. SRAM Force Crank and the SRAM Rival Mechanical Components. I'm running the Jet RC5 Rim Brake Wheels. Half aluminum, half carbon, so they have carbon fairings, but I don't know how the deep they are. I think they're like 50 or 54. Joe? Oh, okay, so... Oh, this is the new sexy one. Yeah. So oh, I nice. have a Specialized SL8 Pro Model, size 52, and that is laced up to Roval Rapide CLs. Front's a 51, the rear is a 60. I have repeat bars, 135 mil by 400, and the Altegra 11 speed. Front gear is 52, 36, rear is 11, 28. And yeah, I think that's about it. Okay. Ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. We're ready. All right. Unrolling, Alex, you good? I think it's rolling. Yeah, it's rolling. Let's do this. So it was really funny. At this point, I really wanted to just follow your wheels. I, and you did the exact opposite? Yeah, I did the exact opposite. <laughs> like... You're already over 500 watts. Yeah, look at, look at the insane. RPM. Look at the... <laughs> yeah. yeah it's uh, just I'm holding dude, 400 look at, watts. Dude. That's, not, that's not normal. That's my, not okay. my cadence there, though, churning and churning and churning. I Wait, could not yours, get the right gear. Yours or mine? Well, that's your that's cadence yours, today. Dude. But look at the mine just being You're front. You're spinning on 120. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's there's no way we could have maintained this pace spinning under like 100. 22 miles per hour on like a 3% incline. Oh, Alex was chilling. Look at my BPM. I'm not chilling. I was hurting right here. This is where it's Dude, that's 43 hurt. seconds into, <laughs> into this thing. I was in pain. And look at the little so, chicken wing elbow. I okay. thought you were right on my wheel trying to pass at this point. I was. So you have no draft <laughs> behind me. No, no, no. <laughs> Dude, exhaling, that's exhaling, bro. Yeah. Okay, at this point, I was like, I was I gassed. felt you. I felt you there though, Alex, trying to sneak past. I was gassed. I was like, you know, I was just kind of, my, my thought was like, okay, I got to conserve some energy because Joe keeps looking back and I'm taking, I'm taking that personal. Boy, Six that. seconds? Yeah. That's timed right, I promise. Jeez, just watching this, it's making my heart race. You're slowly going, Alex, but then when she, once you actually come around... Look, boom. Yeah, Instantly. Like RPM. Yeah. Dude, you're grinding, bro. 70 RPM. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. man. I know, dude. He, he passes me so quickly. 
Yeah, I'm hurting. I'm hurting. I was at 188. You're at 186. <laughs> I'm looking back, I'm looking back to yeah. see I'm struggling at this point. Oh, Joe, you're, you spit and then the elbows went out. Yeah. You actually see all three of us, though. <laughs> that gap, what, what do you think this is? Like, that's, that's a seven seconds. Seven seconds? Jeez. I don't know. You drive me so quickly, though. At this point, I knew I knew catch you. I could feel you from I that knew far. Catch you, but... I could feel you at this point. Oh, <laughs> there, there it is. I was just like, just uh -huh. little by little, little by little. How good you looked at the first half, and then just slowly. Yeah. Oh. Were you guys aware at all of the times? I could and care less at the time. To be honest with you, as we were doing it, it didn't feel very long, but. In retrospect, it didn't feel like four minutes. I remember Justin starts like talking to me at one point. I don't know how hard it is. I can't have a conversation with you at a threshold anaerobic <laughs> effort, like Oh, you're not pedaling. Yeah. You, wait, you weren't even pedaling back I know, there. I, I thought the segment ended at the top, like right by the, like, the when you oh. hit the curb. I thought we talked about that, though. <laughs> we literally said that in the intro. Yeah. That we said, oh, right by the humps thing. It says humps. I wasn't paying attention at all. I, I just, think you just forgot in this moment. And also because it's a blind corner, so I was like scared. Sure. I was telling Joe that I was kind of scared to just kind of like go around. That's I mean, like, these are all excuses, obviously, but from, like. From this sprint, though, you would have, I think you would have passed him. I think so, too. This is the best part of the whole video, by the way. How? Ouch. I just killed my, like, I could not until we get there after that drop so quick. Oh. I almost threw up. I'm trying to sprint to this guy. Oh, I feel like I was coming back at one point. Oh. 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 The solar cliffs did not work. <laughs> so, okay, that was the, the theme of this video. Cliffs, dude. I don't know what I said. Swang Tong. <laughs> All right, that was it. Hopefully, we'll do more of these videos in the future. Joe's eager to do uh, what's like a sprint segment? Yeah. Flat segment? Yeah. yeah. I, I think Let's after do. this, we need to do a flat segment. So, hopefully, we'll have that in the work soon. And thank you, Fly Swans. Here's the plugs follow our Strava, follow our Instagram. And post it. Yeah, and if you're Swan in, song. and if you're in LA, oh, I ruined that for you. Swan song. <laughs> <laughs>